And now, get ready for the top diesel performance podcast in the industry, brought to you by Parley'sDieselPerformance.com, covering what's new in the world of black smoke and burning rubber. If it's diesel performance you're after, you've come to the right place. All right, well, in today's program, we have Guy Tripp of SoCal Diesel. He's been kind enough to meet with us and answer a lot of common questions that have to do with the Duramax market in general, and especially EFI Live, which he's had a, a huge hand in. Uh, Guy Tripp, he's had a lot of experience in the industry, just over 24 years or so, in port polish, racing industry, things like that. Guy, go ahead and give us a, a brief history about yourself, uh, what you've done in the industry as far as what's gotten you to this point, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, my background is uh, cylinder head manufacturing, uh, design and engineering. So uh, uh, I've designed aluminum cylinder heads for small block Chevrolet, small block Ford LS1, and big block Chevrolet, and then uh, uh, port design, CNC porting as far as uh, fixture design and programming. So I took a lot of those skills that I've gathered over the last 25 years and uh, applied them to the Duramax world. All right. Well, excellent. Definitely uh, a huge industry that you you left to sort of come and, and found a lot of things in the the Duramax market what got you to this point what was it just owning the truck and deciding to see what you could do with it or yeah like a lot of other enthusiasts uh, I bought my Duramax diesel powered truck to uh, to tow my race car to tow my NASCAR uh, late model back and forth to the racetrack and uh, started off with chip and an exhaust and uh, started to realize the power potential that this motor had available to us if we could just kind of unlock its secrets and get it to play nice so uh, that's kind of how it all started. Okay, excellent. And to, to get to where you're at now, you you did quite a bit with the EFI Live team in New Zealand. Is that right? Yeah, EFI Live was a, uh, a program that I was using over on the gas side. We were uh, building the LS1 cylinder head, and we needed a way to control that motor on the dyno. Uh, and we were using some other programs that really weren't getting it done for us, so we switched over to uh, EFI Live. And once I saw the power of that program, I was just absolutely overwhelmed. I was just impressed. It was the greatest thing to play with. And uh, it took me about a year, year and a half to convince them to look at the diesel market. But uh, once they did, it, uh, it basically doubled the size of their company. And uh, seeing the power potential there and the ability for their product to, uh, to do what it does for the Duramax world, I immediately signed up as, a, uh, as an importer, a national importer. Okay, well, great. And, and for those who aren't too familiar with it, EFI Live, most people are familiar with it. As far as, you know, if they just looked at it, they might think and mistake it for maybe a, a Super Dips Flash Pack or a Diablo Predator or one of those handheld tuners. Explain to the people what, what the difference is between some of those pre-programmed tuners that you might buy at, at normal diesel performance shops and, and what the main difference between EFI Live and those is. Actually, yeah, that's a very common question I get on the phone uh, all the time. And uh, the easiest way to explain it is that uh, uh, Predators and Hypertechs a lot of those handheld units are parts that you would install on your truck. It's basically a handheld unit. You hook it up to the truck. You select from one of a series of tunes that they've already programmed for you, and you load that in the truck, and you either like it or you don't like it. You live with it, uh, and so on. EFI Live is a tool. It basically gives you the ability to upload and download to your truck or your vehicle, but it gives you the ability to drill down into those tunes and alter basically anything you want. Uh, it can be as simple and as complicated as you want to make it, but uh, it basically gives the end user the ability to write those calibrations just as if they were the guy at Edge or Predator or Hypertech that was writing those calibrations. So the sky's the limit from a simple tow tune to a thousand horsepower twin turbo, you know, eight second truck to compete against banks. Okay, great. Now, when, when somebody has that programmer, there's, there's some software included in that as well. Explain a little bit the integration between, okay, I have this on my, my computer and I have this tuner. How do the two sort of combine to make that incredible power increase? Yeah, what we have is uh, we have obviously cables that connect uh, between the vehicle and the laptop and then an interface box. And the interface box allows us to basically convert that complicated computer code into a nice graphical user interface. In other words, a Windows interface that we, the end user, can actually understand. We can go click on a tab that says timing, and we can look at the, at the timing table that controls all the uh, injection timing from, say, idle on up to 4,000 RPM, or pulse width, or any number of, uh, of hundreds of engine parameters. So uh, again, rather than just selecting from a pre-canned tune that was made by somebody else, 
This is for the enthusiast that really wants to drill down and enjoys working on his truck. Uh, a lot of the EFI Live uh, uh, users have, uh, you know, just taken off with this thing and actually become very accomplished tuners in their own right. And then there's a number of guys that just buy it and uh, they do a nice tow tune and they play around with the mileage aspects of it and uh, really enjoy it from that aspect. Okay, excellent. Now, the most common, the, the one that we move the most of is the, the flash scan, of course. With that comes the ability to tune a, an engine as well as a transmission. What have you been able to do and accomplish as far as those transmission tunes have come? Yeah, uh, flash scan comes with, there's actually two sides to the software. There's the tuning tool and there's a scan tool. Uh, the tuning tool, like we touched on, allows us to tune the engine control module or ECM for more power output, more mileage. We also have the ability to alter the calibrations inside the transmission control module. Uh, most commonly, we will alter the shift points based on RPM. Maybe we want the transmission to shift a little later uh, in the RPM range or a little higher in the speed or maybe a little earlier depending on the application. And then locking up that torque converter at an earlier time tends to drop the RPM and really helps out mileage from a towing aspect. Then over on the scan side, not only can we read and clear codes, but we can also record live engine data. And the significance of that is being able to record, say, injector pulse lists or timing or shift points in the transmission. You can actually play that back at a later date and, and look at that data and see what is exactly happening with the engine and the transmission under what circumstances. And, of course, that gives us uh, the ability to then go back into the tuning side and make the necessary adjustments uh, to accomplish what our goal is. Okay, great. Excellent. I think that, that helps sort of paint a, a better picture for a lot of people what, what's, the, what's capable with EFI Live. Now, that's just a, a small portion of what you do. Your, your history is mainly in the porting of the, the cylinder heads, etc. Uh, for those with a very basic knowledge, explain what 